My name is Matt St. John, one of the sales executives here at V Technologies. And today we'll walk through showing you the new web client uh, for Acumatica. And as Simon mentioned, we're also going to kind of uh, talk a little bit about USPS and, and how you can uh, save some uh, additional funding shipping through USPS. I don't think a lot of our clients realize uh, the amount of money that you can save. And we're finding more and more clients uh, uh, looking at it, and they are definitely saving uh, some good funding. So let me, uh, that being said, what we'll do is jump into this uh, little slide deck really quick. And again, a little a quick agenda. We're going to talk about a little bit about V Technologies. Going to jump in, talk a little about our e-commerce integrations. As you're going to see, Starship now has integrations with e-commerce sites. So we'll discuss that. And as I mentioned, talk about how we can save with USPS. And then, of course, jump into that live demo with the new Starship web client for Acumatica. All right, so real quick, a little about B Technology has been developing integrated shipping solutions since 1989, so our 30th year uh, this year. Uh, have integrations with, as you can see, about 29 carriers, and that's full integration, and that's from 3PLs, LTL carriers, uh, parcel carriers. And the nice thing with those integrations is you're going to be able to do live rate shopping, return your live negotiated rate, and of course, pick up any of the electronic features that the carriers offer. So, of course, say electronic tracking numbers. Uh, if you're doing international shipments, of course, Starship can generate those international documents. But for example, UPS has the contract option paperless uh, invoicing, and of course, we fully support that. And uh, currently, we have over 10,000 customers using our integrated shipping solutions. Um, we are located in Connecticut, and nice thing here, all of our support, development, uh, sales, everything is done in-house. We're not outsourcing anything, so if you have an issue, you call our support line, you're getting the guys right here in Connecticut. And as you can see, Acum Acumatica certified application and, of course, a FedEx-compatible Platinum as well as a UPS-ready solution. So we're certified both for Acumatica, FedEx, as well as USPS. All right. So again, with these e-commerce integrations, as you can see, uh, we have integrations with Magento, eBay, Amazon, Shopify, to name a few. Uh, but with our integrations to an e-commerce, uh, the ones listed here, uh, you can use it two different ways. Uh, so we have the direct, and as a direct integration, what you can do as a shipper, I can be inside Starship and I can pull, and I'll use uh, Shopify as an example, I can pull my order information right from Shopify into Starship, of course, through my shipping process. And then on the right back, Starship's going to send back tracking item uh, if we need in freight back to the e-commerce site. So again, Shopify in this example. Uh, but those are used using an e, uh, ERP system like Acumatica. Uh, probably your process is, okay, from Shopify, we're going to put the order inside of Acumatica. Uh, and if that's the case, you can most certainly use our e-commerce integrations as an extension where, okay, I'm going to get that, maybe create that sales order, like I said, inside Acumatica. Then when I'm inside Starship, again, in Starship, I, I have the option I can ship against a sales order record or a um, shipment record. So depending on which one you use, um, we're going to grab that order header, line item information, bring that into Starship, we do what we need to do, click ship and process. We're going to receive our shipping documents. And then on the right back with the e-commerce as an extension, what's going to happen? We're going to send all that information again, that shipping information, so tracking freight item quantities back into Acumatica, but it's also going to push it up to, again, say Shopify as the example. Uh, so kind of get the best of both worlds with that as an extension. Okay. And as we also mentioned, a little bit about the USPS shipments. Uh, so USPS, it's, it's good packages under 70 pounds, uh, really going to get the most savings, take advantage for USPS shipments for anything under 20 pounds and zones one through four. Um, of course, it does the zone and weight based pricing. And this is next well, bullet here is the cubic pricing. So this is where you can really save some additional funding. Um, so really any packages under 0.5 cubic feet or less. Again, not really concerning about the weight. It's under 20 pounds, but it can be 17, 18 pounds. And as long as it's under that half cubic foot or less, uh, you are going to see some amazing savings on those shipments. Okay. Uh, so with our USPS, I just want to talk about that a little bit, the integration. Uh, we've actually teamed up with a, a company called Visible, and uh, we're offering an integration through a company called Easy Post. So the nice thing with Easy Post, um, there's no monthly fee. And then, of course, 
with our USPS shipments, you're gonna, nice, one way you save is there's no accessorial fees. Uh, so anyone shipping to Alaska, Hawaii, um, you know, that's where if you're doing UPS or FedEx, you're, you're gonna, it's costly because of those accessorial fees. But the nice thing with USPS is um, you're not gonna see those fees. You know, they're not gonna be there. And again, you're, you're gonna see some great savings and some great rates and even transit time it is unbelievable with USPS. Uh, but again, so we've teamed up with a, a company called Visible, and our integration is going to be through uh, Easy Post. Uh, so Easy Post is just like any of those normal, you know, a pitney bows, a stamps, uh, just really holding that meter mail. But the nice thing with our integration is, uh, like I said, no monthly fee, so it's not going to cost you anything. The module's not going to cost you anything uh, to be integrated between Starship and the Easy Post account. Um, no upcharges for say, hey, I want to refill my meter with a credit card. Uh, so again, some really nice savings. And uh, speaking of savings, so here's a quick comparison chart. You know, if we're going to send something from Stanford, Connecticut to Charlotte, North Carolina, again, going to zone four, it's a residential shipment. And as you can see on this chart, the difference is, I mean, with USPS is about $7.10, UPS 13 16 and then of course FedEx is 8.59, but then there's that residential surcharge of $3.60. So again, with this, and um, really next slide, I have another showing you some different options. So now with USPS, I'm sure you're, there's priority mail, so on and so forth. As you can see on this chart, we have the flat rate box. So here's our box size. Okay. But another advantage of USPS is of course now, as we all know, UPS, FedEx does dimensional pricing. Um, now, USPS does that as well now, but they also offer, as you can see, this cubic pricing. And this is just an example again. So I said anything under 0.5, uh, you're gonna gain access to some great cubic rates. Uh, but here for 0.3, I mean, as you can see this comparison, this is a savings of $22.30. Uh, now, again, with that integration between EasyPost, you are, course going to be able to qualify uh, for some what they call cubic high volume pricing so uh, there are some stipulations you need to do close to about a hundred uh, pieces priority mail pieces a week and then it does require a visible analyst where they go through um, and I'll show you in the next slide kind of example of some of the things they'll go through um, and also talk about in-house now we have someone on staff that can actually work with you to discuss uh, maybe switching over to USPS and, and again working with Visible and showing you those savings that you can come up with. But I mean, these are some big savings $24.93. I mean, that uh, sounds like a pretty good savings to uh, send out a package. Okay. All right. And again, so this is some of that information regarding that analyst that you would do with Visible and our in house staff as well. Uh, so as you can see, you can reduce costs. You know, matching and improving your current transit times. You know, nice thing with uh, USPS, a lot of these shipments are just going to be two days uh, instead of like five days, save maybe if it's going UPS. But again, we can work with you. We can go through this. Um, at the end, of it, there is going to be a, a poll question. So if anyone wants to, uh, you know, any further questions on USPS or, or going through uh, and having this done for them, uh, please feel free to uh, answer that poll question and we'll most certainly reach out to you right away and uh, get that scheduled. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'll we'll jump into the demo now. So let me just X out of here. And on my screen now, you should be able to see the Acumatica interface. Uh, so I did mention with Starship, one first thing, the nice thing with the web UI, as a shipper, I'm really just gonna be able to work inside a Starship. Right? And with that, I, it's gonna give me the option. I can pull by sales order, by shipments, or by customer record. So in this case, I'm just gonna go by sales order um, or bring up a sales order. We'll pull by shipment record, but just so you know, if we ship based off of a sales order, and I'm just gonna grab this one that's open. Uh, what Starship will do is, of course, write back the information, um, pull in the order header line item detail from that sales order. And then when we do the write back, it will automatically create the shipment record. And again, just for the sake of this webinar, I'm just gonna automatically just go into Starship here and create the shipment for this one sales order. And normal process now, we're gonna bring me to the shipment screen and there's our new shipment. 2244. So I'm just going to go over here. And what I'm going to do is now minimize and we'll bring up Starship. So here is the new Starship web UI. Uh, really 
functionality of those of you that are currently used to using the Starship client, as you can see, new look, new feel. Um, the old client kind of all our tabbing, all our shipment options were kind of tabbed and you have to click on each tab. But you're going to see here in a moment when I bring in a shipment record. And again, even if it's a sales order record, the layout, the flow of it is it's just smooth. It's a nice look and feel to the new Starship web UI. Okay. So here again, I'm just going to do shipment. Uh, of course, we can apply a filter. So I just narrowed this down by shipment date. Um, but here, let me just sort my column because I'm displaying my, all my shipment records. So here's that 2234. One, oh, nope, camera. There we go. And we'll bring in this one. Did not come in. And of course, let's bring this in. So I'm just going to select this one shipment. Make sure this is the correct one. Oh, of course, I'm not sure. Bear with me one second here. Forty-four. Let's do this. Of course. We can test this all we want, but when it comes to the demo, there we go. Just had to reload that. So here's shipment 244 or 2244, so that one I just created. So again, I can select this, click uh, create shipment, or of course I can just slide over here and click the little truck icon. But as you're gonna see what Starship's gonna do, as I mentioned, pulling that order header line item detail, I have my system set up to prompt me, hey, do I wanna do address validation? So here, uh, Starship will do address validation. We do validate zip plus four. And we also validate the commercial residential flag. So here I have the option I can use validated or even just keep the original. Always smart to use the validated because that's going to help save on those address correction fees that you might get hit with later on. And again, those are used to that old Starship client. As you can see now, everything in the new web UI is laid out in front of me. So my source, my sender, of course, my recipient. Transportation. So based off the ship via from this sales order and shipment record, Starship's automatically selected the carrier service. All right. Anyone doing third party or collect shipments, we can help streamline that where this will come in and automatically change it to you know, third party or collect and even pull in the customer's correct um, account information. And with Starship, name of the game is to streamline your shipping process. So as a shipper, the less I have to manually click and change or manually type in like say a, an account number, the better you know, with Starship. We can help streamline that. All this information is going to come in. As a shipper, I don't even have to worry about making any changes. Now, underneath, we have the packaging and line item. So here in this package, I'm just going to click this. And there's a couple different ways you can do item to box detail. Uh, so as you can see, Starship will bring in that line item detail. And here, I just have my system set up that my items are coming in, and they're just going to be brought into a default package, which I have called custom package. Now we have a drop down and Starship has a database where you can store your own box sizes. Uh, I could even see carrier generated boxes if my system was turned on to do that. So maybe you know, I wanted to see, for example, again, USPS, those priority mail boxes or different type of boxes they offer. I would be able to see those in this, this drop down. Um, before I get into the whole packaging and line item detail, I'm just gonna change this box to small. Okay. So by doing that, and I have that set up, as you can see, the length, width, and height is automatically gonna populate. So those dimensions are automatically gonna populate when I select a package type. So that's the nice thing about using our packaging database. And as you're gonna see, when I send this back, Starship's also gonna reverse translate the packaging ID back into Acumatica. Right. Now, in this case here, I changed it to small, except I'm gonna just skip over the line item detail because I wanna go down below and kind of show you some differences. So if I just brought this back and we just did standard custom packaging, no dimensions, watch what's gonna happen down here. So we're gonna rate shop. And again, this is my live negotiated rates that I have with the carrier. So as you can see, UPS ground is $18.89. Priority mail, 53.71. Now, if I'm gonna go back up and like I said, let's go, okay, we know this can fit in a small, which in this case is eight by eight by six. I'm gonna go back down to the rating and here's an example of that cubic pricing. So now UPS ground, 1889 still. Okay, priority mail now, 
$12.76. So not only you get that saving, but also look at the delivery day. Two days for priority mail, five days for UPS ground. It's a big difference. And not only are you saving money, you're also gonna get your orders out and to your customers a lot faster. Okay. So I wanted to show you that, and then I'll jump back up top. So back with the packaging, we have the actual bill weight. Uh, if this was gonna stay like a parcel shipment, and let me make sure we switch this to priority mail so we gain access to those discounted rates there. Um, we will actually do, so the actual weight, that can, we might have a scale hooked up that's integrated to our shipping machine, automatically pull that weight in. Of course, I can manually type that in. My system here I'm setting up, it's just automatically pulling the weights from inside Acumatica and then bill weight. So dimensionally, if this was different, again, maybe we kept it at UPS and there was a different dim, dim weight, that would be displayed here. And when we actually electronically send this, basically as a ship right click ship and process, we will bill this out at the correct dimensional weight. So you're not going to get hit with those later on. Hey, here's your UPS bill. Oh, you said this at 17 pounds. It should have been 24. And then here's the correction fee. Okay, so we're going to help eliminate those changes as well. And so that's the packaging. Uh, with Starship, also can get into item to box detail and having Starship automatically package items, or I should say item. It is a one-to-one. -one. So if you always have a certain item that always goes into a certain package type, it could come in and Starship would automatically put it in that package for my shipper. So again, I can just click this plus icon. This is my items just automatically came in here, but I could add boxes, drag and drop my items to put them in different um, box types. And then down below is a line item detail. And this is just all the information coming in from Acumatica. And if I click on this little pencil icon, there's all my item detail. Now Starship will also start storing your inventory items in our own database. Reason we do this because uh, maybe I don't have NMFC class, maybe this is an LTL shipment. Uh, maybe I don't have those stored inside of Acumatica or international. We have a whole database where you can store all that required international database uh, information. So country manufacturer, we have a lookup where as a shipper I can drill down and I can look up the harmonizer schedule B code either by partial code or by item description. Okay. Of course, hazards as, so we can store all that information right inside of Starship as well. Again, less things that when this comes in as a shipper, I don't have to worry about clicking on or changing. So let me minimize this. So that's the packaging line item. Again, drag and drop. I can add boxes as you can see up here. Um, and of course, select the different package types. But we also have a pa uh, packing assistant and some clients, they find this a little bit easier to use. So of course, over here, I could have all my items just come in on this side. We already packaged this one. And then again, simply on my right-hand side, I can add po boxes, packaging type, select them, and then just drag and drop my items to build my shipment. And then right from here, I can either click ship and process, or if I wanted to, I can you know, go back to this main screen. Maybe I wanted to rate shop this again. Also with the rating uh, down in this total charges and let me minimize some of this, clean up the screen here. Uh, so here's just a breakdown of the charges. I'm just gonna click on this with Starship. Also get into setting up freight rules. So it looks like I have a freight rule here. And what I'm doing, I'm always adding a flat rate of $3 on all my shipments. So as you can see, freight rules can be flat rates, min maxes, percentages. I can even get in down all the way down to doing by line item detail. So I have clients that, hey, we ship a fra fragile item. So they have it set up, hey, anytime that a lamp is on an order, automatically add an additional $5 to help cover for all the extra bubble wrap that we have to use. All right. So again, when I'm ready to actually ship and process this shipment, I can click ship and process here or even up top. I'm in this drop down, show you a little shortcut keys. We can just save it. Maybe I don't want to send this yet. I just want to start staging this order. Maybe I'm waiting for an item to be ready. Uh, so I can start the process, save it, come back and finish it later. I can then F3, ship and process, maybe ship and create a return label. But here we'll just do the ship and process. So as soon as I click ship and process, Starship is automatically going to generate any required shipping documents. Um, so here for the sake of the demo, of course, I'm just previewing everything and also using our smart label. And as you can see, the smart label will generate a shipping label and a packing list together. So this would go to a laser printer. Uh, but most certainly we can send the shipping label to a thermal printer and with our packing list you do have the option that can go to a thermal printer as well 
or of course send it to a laser printer onto paper. And as you can also see, our documents can be customized. So here I just added our logo. Uh, but with unlimited templates, you can also, you know, a lot of nowadays, a lot of customers are doing drop ships or blind shipments where oh, the packing list has to show it's from a different company or it needs their logo. Uh, so you can create a template. And I'll just use Walmart for an example. Maybe Walmart needs their logo on the packing list. Create a template, name it Walmart, and then you can assign a printing rule and you can set it up that Starship knows, okay, I need to use automatically, I can see, I need that Walmart template, and that's the document it will generate. Uh, we can also do bill lading forms, pallet labels, again, uh, international documents, commercial invoices, uh, NAFTA forms, so on and so forth. But again, as soon as I click ship and process as a shipper, I'm gonna receive my shipping documents, and then Starship's just gonna take me back. I have this little notification turned on where it tells me if there was any issues. I'm just going to click OK. You can have that turned off, uh, but if you wanted to, you can have it on, make sure everything went through smoothly. And as a shipper now, it just takes me back to that main screen where I can quickly just go through that whole process again. And what I'll do, I'll just jump back into Acumatica and we'll go on to the shipment. Oops, we just processed. Okay, so 2244. As you can see, we make the status confirmed. Document details. I'm just going to go over the shipping settings. So on the right back, here's freight cost. So that's your live negotiator rate that you have with the carrier. And then freight price, that's what you're charging the customer. So in this case, plus or minus any freight rules, it's that three extra dollars that I put on top of my contract rate with the carrier. Packaging tab, again, there's that reverse translation of the box ID. And then there's our tracking number, custom reference one and two, these fields, it's up to you what you wanna send back. And we can also send back to the notes tab. So here I just have mine set up that I'm sending back, shipped on, the weight, uh, picker, packer. I was working with a customer that they had a drop down with those initials. So they would select that in Starship and it would write that back. And then writing back package dimensions, same customer, they wanted all this different information to write back. But you can customize this. Uh, you can have a separate note for your parcel shipments and then you can have one for freight shipments. So maybe you don't need all this information for a freight shipment. Um, again, it is a separate setup. And then with the web UI, we actually have our new dashboard and I'll quickly show that. Now we're running out of time. I wanna save some time for questions. Um, but I'm just gonna go back into the Starship client. And those again, familiar with the dashboard program, kind of revamped it. We've actually added this zero down here, make this full size. We have a heat map now, so I can see where the majority of my shipments are going to. Let me just escape out of there. Of course, you can zoom in. And then again, anyone familiar with the dashboard, we have all our history graphs. Let's see, let's see all my different type of graphs. I'm gonna slide this over for you. So nice thing with this, I can quickly come in here and of course see you know, the status of my shipments. I can track, you know, drill down maybe further so on and so forth. Okay. And then also standard feature with Starship is our e-notify program. So here, e-notify, I'll quickly show you this. You can design your own custom email template, send out to your customers with your company information, your logo, not maybe UPS or FedEx. Uh, very easy to create. And you can of course pull in Acumatica fields, let them know item to box detail with the hyperlink tracking number. And of course, maybe I want to do a separate template, maybe do a promo code, only want that to go to certain customers. So just like the printing rules and the printing templates, uh, I can do that with these e-notifies where I can create unlimited templates and then assign uh, emailing rules instead of printing rules. So, hey, maybe I only want this to go to those certain customers. Okay. Thank Here. you, everyone. Bye.